Hey everybody, what's the good word? Listen, I want to talk a little bit about two new songs that uh, have come out by Paul McCartney. Further bonus tracks off his Egypt Station album that was overall pretty well received. Um, I have to say that uh, I've only heard these songs once. I just I just played them both, listened very intently. And uh, it's true what some people will say, that a lot of times you have to really give songs, I guess, a chance to really permeate, really listen to them a few times before you really make a final decision on them. So I'm not prepared to make a final uh, decision right now or opinion. What I'm doing is giving you the first impression, first reaction, first gut feeling I have about it. And uh, I feel very confident in doing that without hearing them multiple times because... I pretty much enjoyed both of them. Um, just to show you that I just don't automatically love everything that Paul McCartney does just because it's Paul McCartney. I pretty much uh, trashed the song on January 1st, the new year, uh, that he put out, Get Enough. I thought that was pretty, pretty abysmal, and I said so. But these two songs, one of them called Frank Sinatra's Party, another one called 62nd Street, I enjoyed them. I thought they were pretty good on first listen um not amongst the best things i've ever heard that that may take some time if, if ever to decide that uh, but I, uh, as i say i made the video because i was pretty much sure that i thought they were decent uh first about frank sinatra's party uh to me you know it has a reggae flavor to it which i kind of like and uh already i know i like that song much better than say a song called back in brazil that was featured on the Egypt Station album. For me personally, and this is my own subjective opinion, nothing else, I personally would rather have had heard the song Frank Sinatra's Party on the album and you could toss, uh, for my money, back in Brazil. The other song, 62nd Street, I think I liked even a little better. Um, Reminded me a little bit of the Simon and Garfunkel song, the 59th Street Bridge song, Feeling Groovy. A little bit, a little flavor of that. I, the kind of thing I would expect Simon to, Garfunkel to sing and Simon to have written uh, maybe in the 60s. I don't know, it just has that flavor to it to me. And it's a fun song, I think that'll improve a little bit more uh, even as I hear it. Uh, those are just two quick thoughts about these two new songs. And uh, I imagine that uh, they're not going to go down from here on my mind. They're either going to stay the same or maybe rise a little. Thanks for listening.